GAP has represented thousands of whistleblowers in its 35 years of existence. There's no one giant, here's the whistleblower law that protects all employees. There are six common stages whistleblowers typically experience as whistleblowers. Discovery, disclosure, retaliation, isolation, solidarity. And the final stage is vindication. The Hanford Nuclear Facility is the most contaminated site in North America. Walt Tamasitis blew the whistle on safety problems at the waste treatment plant. Bechtel, uh, starting in about 06, wanted to declare the technical issues closed. A committee which had reviewed the problems identified 28 major issues. They said, are you ready to present your findings? And I said, yes, but it'd be a short meeting. And the manager says, you're off the project. And I said, what? Huh? Who made this decision? And he says, the Bechtel manager wants you off the project now. Then I began to think, and I said, I've always told my people to ask yourself, what do you think is the right thing to do? And if you're not going to do the right thing, are you willing to stand up in front of everybody and tell them why you're not going to do the right thing? One question I want to ask you about is that stage of isolation. I sat in the basement office with the copying machines and I sat there for nearly 16 months. Uh, I remember very vividly in that winter, my wife called me and said, you know, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm supposed to be here. She said, do you know that they've shut down? And I said, no. So I went upstairs out of the basement and here all the lights are off in the building. Everybody's gone home. Nobody thought they were shutting down. So, <laughs> so there's basically no better definition of isolation. <laughs> no, no better definition. What has happened um, since you raised these concerns? I'm convinced that Bechtel would have continued to move ahead and built a plant that if it would have run, it would be plagued with the potential for hydrogen explosions, criticalities, major line plugging, inoperability. It had been total waste of money. Would you blow the whistle again? Yes, it was the right thing to do. It's resulted in the right action. Most definitely, I would do it again. These are the future leaders of tomorrow who are likely, in all likelihood, at some point in their career, going to be faced with a situation where there's a conflict of ethics. What do I do? I see something wrong. And this is an opportunity for us to tell them it is important to support those who do blow the whistle. If someone was in a situation where they saw a problem in the workplace, they would need to ask themselves serious questions about, you know, is this something that I have the stamina to endure the internal credibility? Do I have documents? Because what the classic um, retaliatory move is to make the whistleblower the problem, not the problem that they're disclosing. Sign the petition at www.takepart.com whistleblower. Thanks.